we have another popular theory of meanings which tells us that meanings are out in the world. There are certain critical or philosophical views which uh, lead us to believe that uh, meanings are not in the language only or not in the mind only rather uh, they are in other spheres for example they are out in the world of experience or the real world we live in. Uh, this theory is composed of certain individual uh, background theories which I'll talk about uh, first and then I'll lead to the uh, conclusion of this theory. First, uh, some of the thinkers or semanticists believe that meanings are in the social practices, uh, social practice which we live in uh, or we live by. Uh, we live in a world and we habitually use language as a social practice. For example, if somebody asks you what time is it, you immediately respond to look at your watch and respond to it is, for example, 7 o'clock. Uh, we, we do the same in our own language. Somebody asks, kya time hua hai? So, hum kehte hai, saat baj ke. So, this response is quite natural, quite, quite intuitive. Uh, and, and this is based on the social practice. We, we stay, the, stay in the same fashion in similar situations. So, uh, the philosopher based on such things believe that meanings are in the social practices. Uh, but this theory is also not complete and it fails to uh, influence uh, in some important semanticists. It is also in con conflict with some of the basic ideas of uh, contemporary semantics which believe that languages are not uh, arbitrary social conventions, rather uh, they reveal deeper universal patterns in our minds. Our minds are trained or are natu naturally uh, endowed with certain uh, universal patterns through which our language languages are produced or they produce meanings. So. It also ignores the role of intuition in, in producing the meanings. So, because uh, we could use a language uh, beyond uh, any social convention in, in an intuitive way, or we use our intuition to create more meanings. So, this theory of social practices as meanings seems to ignore uh, that very important, though it might have a certain uh, space for this, for the role of intuition. But on a large uh, scale uh, or to a large extent, it ignores the role of intuition, which is very important in the meaning making process. Similarly, we have another theory referenced as a theory of meaning. Uh, that by that we mean that simplest, it is one of the simplest theory of meaning and it claims that uh, semantics or the meaning is reference. What we refer to or how we refer to uh, to an object in the real world that is the meaning. Uh, to give the meaning of a word one shows what it denotes in the real world. So what we refers to by saying a certain word or expression or a sentence that is the actual meaning. For example proper names uh, denote individuals and the common uh, nouns denote the group of people or group of individuals. A reference usually picks out uh, elements in the real world, uh, but this theory is also not free from problems. There are certain uh, issues with this theory. For example, not all words have reference in the real world. For example, the words so, by, in, uh, but of uh, these prepositional words, they do not have a very clear reference in the real world. So how would we uh, generate the meanings of these words through reference? Similarly, many nominal expressions do not have real life experiences or references in the world. For example, world uh, we listen to the terms like uh, unicorn or World War III in, in literature, but we don't have uh, their proper reference in the real world. Uh, there may be more meaning. Uh, as as compared to the meaning which we produce through reference only. And in order to understand the meaning, we probably will have to rely on something more than a mere reference. Uh, 
where are the meanings then if meanings are not in in the language not in the ideas in mind they are also not in social conventions or they they are not reduced to references only where they are then we probably would uh, be tempted to answer that meanings are based in language and mind external reality they are also in the language they are also in the mind uh, they are they are the combination of all these things we have mentioned so far so we cannot find meanings from one one simple or straightforward theory of meaning probably understanding meaning or what meaning is uh, is a tricky tricky thing and we will have to rely on more than one philosophical views in order to understand what meaning is 